I really feel like that one millisecond completely just changed my whole life and changed who I was as a person. Can we normalize getting paid and compensated for your pain and suffering? Because it's this weird narrative that's been going on for a really long time, for decades. And I have to admit, I've even fallen for it, where a victim comes forward and accuses their their predator or their perpetrator of something and they sue them and they want to be compensated for their pain and suffering and all of a sudden all the randos of the world goes oh you're just a gold digger oh you're just looking for a payout oh you're just looking for money like asking for compensation for your pain and suffering somehow negates the truth asking for compensation for your pain and suffering all of a sudden it makes the person a liar. Asking for compensation for your pain and suffering means the other party must be innocent. Like, how is this a thing where the legal system has actually set it up? You can sue for your pain and suffering because it matters. I'm bringing this up because R. Kelly's daughter, I think multiple, multiple of his kids, I think his other daughter as well has accused him. But one daughter in particular is going viral because that documentary not surviving R. Kelly. There's like a new documentary about R. Kelly depraved actions as a man, as a father, as a human being, as a child of God. That she's come forward and basically confessed that her father touched her, assaulted her, abused her. <laughs> For a long time, I didn't even want to believe that it happened. I didn't know that even if he was a bad person, that he would do something. And now, I don't know if she's actually being compensated in any way, shape, or form. I don't know if she's making a dime for this documentary, from her interviews. But guess what? I hope she is. Because she should be compensated for her pain and suffering. What the hell? I am a survivor of child abuse in every way possible, imaginable. I've been touched. And let me tell you, doing that to a small child does something to their fucking soul. Okay? It does something to you. It follows you. You carry it for the rest of your life and it's something you have to deal with forever and to tell someone that they don't deserve to be compensated for the suffering that they have to now go through to the day they die is maddening to me i really feel like that one millisecond completely just changed my whole life and changed who i was as a person the same thing with michael jackson's uh, uh victims who accused him came out and they got money for it and it was always like oh they must have lied because they got compensated like their parents were probably kind of snaky and probably pimped their own kids out but just because michael jackson paid out does not mean he didn't do nothing wrong i i don't know why we've normalized this conversation as if someone asked for money then they must be lying right so anyway r kelly daughter came out and said daddy touched me she's accused him it's disgusting and i believe her you know why i believe her because he's already guilty of being a pedo do you think pedos have morals and values and principles somehow like i will be a pedo only to stranger kids that's not my kids no pedos don't have values they're fucking sociopaths okay and so this is why i believe her I just remember waking up to him touching me <laughs> and I didn't I didn't know what to do so I just I just I just kind of laid there and I pretended to, to be asleep and I just remember from that moment on like I was a different person I wasn't the same <laughs> But I was, too, I was too scared to tell anybody. So it was, it was hard to even accept that it happened. Again, I don't know if she's being compensated, but that was like the conversation in the comments of her, the trailer when it came out was, oh, it, uh, oh, the money must be slow. Oh, they must need to pay their rent. Like, and if they do, R. Kelly, if what he's done is true, he needs to be paying every sing single victim every day of their life to the day he dies. I think it should be a given. If you are found guilty of assault or pedoness, then you every single penny you have needs to go to the victim. Every single penny. There should be nothing left for you 
or your fucking legacy because it needs to be shown that this is the punishment for a crime this disgusting that's all i really want to say about this i really think we need to normalize being compensated for pain and suffering and not pretending just because somebody wants to be compensated for their pain and suffering that makes them a liar now innocent and proven guilty but we need to take away this narrative just because somebody says like look i need money because i have to do 20 30 fucking years of therapy doesn't mean they're lying okay anyway heartbreaking for kelly's daughter he is a scumbag and for all the freaking gen xers who go around going like but i'm not gonna delete his music i'm gonna still listen to his music because it was a part of my childhood his music is not that good and if you can be okay with yourself listening to music that's literally sung by a pedo an ancestral pedo allegedly then there's probably something a little bit wrong with your soul delete it off your freaking playlist you don't need it in your spotify it's really really not that important but you guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you think that is okay to normalize being compensated for your pain and suffering or if someone asks for money, it's an automatic tell that they're lying somehow. Let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to get the notifications when I do upload. All that really does help with the algorithm, guys. Really does help because my channel is extremely shadow banned right now. If you want to support the channel any further, you can donate my PayPal and Cash App link is in the comment section down below. Or you can super thanks and you guys have an amazing video today. Bye! I really feel like that one millisecond completely just changed my whole life.